Hey guys, Lauren here. Thank you so much for watching Lauren in Real Life and all the videos that I've been posting. And um, today I just wanted to turn the camera on and talk a little bit more about meditation because I got a really cool comment from Daryl Sims um, on one of the first videos I posted, um, my morning routine, where I first talked about that I journal and I do meditation. And Daryl uh, was kind of intrigued by it. He said he had never tried meditation. He said he was gonna give meditation a shot. So that was three weeks ago. Um, I only started this channel three weeks ago. Weird. Uh, but he said, meditation is awesome. I gave it a shot and it really does calm your mind and body and it really makes you feel the aura around you. Thanks for the inspiration. And so when he said, it really makes you feel the aura around you, I was like, yes. And that's the thing. Daryl has never meditated. He does it once or a few times, maybe Daryl, I don't know. And he feels his aura because the connection that you feel to your energy, your energy, your higher self energy is pretty much immediate. Now, granted, maybe if you're quite clouded or stressed or anxious, connecting to that might be a little more difficult. But if you just sit and you're quiet and you're still and you breathe, even just focusing on your breath, which is all you really need to do to meditate, that breath is energy giving you life and you feel this buzzy electric kind of thing going on in your body. And by Daryl saying you feel the aura around you, that's really what it is. You do start to feel like your body is in fact bigger than it actually is. Uh, it vibrates outward. It has a powerful feeling. It's very hard to articulate this. But anyways, I'm so glad that Daryl left that comment and I hope that I've inspired other people out there to maybe try meditation. I guess I don't want to come off like too preachy or like, because, or too like, this is the only way. I mean, it's definitely something that's more trendy and a lot of people are talking about it. There's a lot of science now behind it to prove that meditation actually does change what's going on in your brain. So I don't want to come off like I'm some, like, what's that woman called? Supreme Master. I was talking about Supreme Master the other day with a friend. I don't know if you know who Supreme Master is, but just Google it. She's like the founder of Loving Hut vegan restaurants, which are worldwide and it's a little bit cult-like. So I don't wanna come off like that kind of person because that's not why I'm talking about this. I simply wanna talk about it because I feel like a lot of people are in the dark about meditation. There really is a transformation happening. And so uh, rather than keeping it to myself and keeping it a secret, which would be wrong, uh, I'm, I'm just sharing it on YouTube and sharing my own experiences. So if you have any other experiences like Daryl that you wanna share with me, please do. I would love to have more of a discussion around this and even you know be able to learn from all y'all out there maybe there's things that I don't know about things I could try that I have never tried that you're doing so please leave comments and uh, stories below because that's the best part about this YouTube thing so besides Daryl's nice comment that I got this morning I also got a note from the universe yesterday and I remembered that I wanted to talk more about meditation with you because the note from the universe which I told you to sign up for, tut.com. You'll get them right to your inbox. Uh, ever notice that in the long run, those who don't eventually go within often go without. Now that is so true. Praise the universe for sending me that message. Basically what that means is, and I talk about this a lot with people, my friends, is because on a, on a minute by minute basis throughout my day, throughout my week, whatever, and I'm sure you experience this as well, you have these moments of absolute clarity and confidence and power and you're like, I can do it and here we go. Or this is all happening and this is amazing and I feel great. And then literally like a second later, you'll be like, I suck. What am I doing with my life? FML. Oh my God. And like, it's a minute by minute thing that we have to be conscious of in terms of what our brain is doing and what we're thinking and the thoughts we're thinking, negative versus positive. And I think when we start to feel lost and confused and you know all those crazy things is when we've not gone within for a while. When we have been chasing things uh, around us, we have been in this sort of hamster wheel, like in this rat race of like work and hustle and money and friends and parties and things and stuff and cars and clothes and crap. And it's when we do all of that, even if it's for a day, I don't know, I feel like I go, whoa, 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 what's happening? And I, and I feel like I'm in a 
uh, an alternate reality. And in order to maintain my sanity, because we're all insane, uh, is I have to meditate because I have to remember that connection and I have to go within. And I think the more that I do that, the easier it will be in my non-meditative state to almost be meditative, like to be basically in a constant state of meditation where these outwardly things, these things outside of me that are not real, won't affect me as deeply. Somebody like Deepak Chopra is essentially someone who is, maybe I'm wrong, but I think he's in a meditative state most of the time. I actually saw the guy at Western Harbor Castle last year at um, a yoga show and he was putting on basically like a a Q&A session with Gabrielle Bernstein and they were doing this meditation for Earth where we all meditated at the same time. And for the first time ever, I saw Deepak in the flesh in front of me speaking to this whole auditorium of people. And the way he speaks in a setting like that, in this big uh, conference room with thousands of people with a microphone and a camera and thousands of cameras on him, is the same way he speaks in the guided meditations that I follow. And I'm sure, you know, he obviously has years and years and years of practicing this kind of thing. But he even said, you know, I wake up early and I meditate for two hours and the rest of the day takes care of itself. Which means he's not letting all of these outwardly things bombard him and affect him uh, the way that you and I probably do. And the way I'm kind of learning to manage that is through meditation. Now, it is interesting too when you're like somebody who lives in a city or an urban center. You know, I don't live out on a farm in the middle of nature where I'm sure I could automatically become a lot more calm and serene and maybe connected easily. When you're living in a city with all this stuff and all this concrete and all this noise and satellites and buzz everywhere, you know, like artificial buzzing, uh, it's hard to turn that off and to block that out. And I remember I learned um, a few years ago when I went to that retreat I was telling you about this uh, spiritual healer had talked to me about um, pretending like you're in a bubble. So going back to what Daryl said about feeling that aura around you, closing your eyes or whatever you need to do and breathing and feeling as though your aura is like growing and then creating a bubble around your body like an energetic protection so that you can go out into the world and not be all like uh, 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 this car, this person, this pedestrian, this bike, all this stuff that's annoying you can just deflect off this aura bubble. And she kind of said to think of a blue color because blue was calming. Uh, but you could do whatever color you want, but I like blue. So sometimes I find I have to do that when I wake up in the morning is uh, either if I don't have time to meditate, because I don't meditate every day necessarily, but I'll have to do some kind of grounding exercise. And it can be as easy as that, just standing where you are before you're about to leave the house and standing, you know, like this with your palms open like this, like mountain pose and yoga, and then just breathing in and then breathing out and as you breathe out, your aura is growing and the bubble is forming around you. And that does actually work. Uh, you feel like you're protected and safe and that no one can get you because the world is a scary place and it's noisy and it's crazy. So I could ramble on and on forever, but anyway, that was one thing I want to mention. And the other thing I want to mention was that this idea of going within. Within you is also everything you need. The power, every resource, every answer to any question you have about your life, about your future, about anything is already inside you. And that's what that is saying. And that is what I've learned through meditation is that if I'm having a problem, I can just ask the universe, the spirits, God, whatever, if you pray, you're doing the exact same thing. I can ask a question. I can say, what should I do? How do I let go of this thing that's annoying me? How do I solve this problem? And like more often than not, during meditation, I will receive an answer. And that's, it just sounds like myself. It's myself, my higher self answering my question, telling me what I need to do, constantly guiding me through life. And that intuition and that inner voice and that higher power is only exercised and is only grown and only becomes more powerful by being quiet and being still and meditating. So that's all I got for now. If you have any questions, 
put them below. I can answer them in Friday's Ask Lauren, or we can just do this whole series on meditation and I'll just yammer on for uh, a little bit about different things that I'm thinking and learning and doing. So I really appreciate all of you watching and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel and I love you and Namaste. I don't want to do this. This is not my sign off. I love this. I love doing it in yoga, but I'm not going to do this. Okay. Bye. <laughs>